peregrine falcon is really an indicator of uh, environmental health. They are very sensitive to changes in, in, uh, in their environment or they tend to bioaccumulate compounds in their tissues that uh, very rapidly show problems. We nearly lost the species through DDT or pesticide pollution in uh, the 1950s, 60s and 70s. In Alberta, uh, we were down to just a handful of pairs where we could take young birds into captivity and, uh, and people were able to learn to breed peregrine falcons in captivity. We're almost up to 70 pairs now, so it, and it certainly it, throughout the rest of southern Canada, we're seeing a lot of uh, populations uh, recovering and uh, the, it's been a really good news story for the environment. We, you know, no one really appreciates the sense of doom that we had when it came to uh, raptor conservation in the 1970s. It, it gives me hope that uh, if we can see the light of day and heal the earth in less than a few decades, then maybe some of these larger sort of daunting issues that we see now are, are capable of uh, overcoming. But most of the other species that we have that are endangered or threatened today are, are there because of habitat loss, which is a much more complicated problem and one that uh, is harder to address.